All right, this is Brother Aisha Yar coming at you with another lesson. First off, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of the great millstones I learned his truth from. Honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing his word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the Aqua that's listening and learning. Today's video is going to be entitled, You Just Never Know. All right, it's going to be entitled, You Just Never Know. Now I got a spice to do this lesson because of the recent stories that's been coming out about this guy right here on the screen. And his name is Gabar Adama. Now, before I even say anything, I'm, this is not a video where I'm going to speak anything about him or against him or rebuke him or whatever the case may be. Because, of course, I don't know the whole story behind everything. You know, the elders right here, you know, uh, with uh, this is the elder Aisha Yar right here in the corner. Then the elder Manata Zakba and the elder Hawad, they've all done videos about him, about recent things that he has been doing that's been pretty much messing up certain brothers, all right, as far as money is concerned. Now, like I said, I'm not going to speak about anything because I don't know the story or anything like that, but I will speak about the spirit that the most I could put upon you if you're in this truth. All right, that's why in time of this video, you just never know because you never know what type of spirit the Most High has in store for you. And this was a big, uh, it was kind of shocking to me. Well, I ain't gonna say kind of shocking. It was shocking when I saw, you know, this brother pop up on the screen. You know, this is one of the big ones, in my opinion, next to uh, uh, the brother that, well, the you know, the recent brother or ex-brother that used to be a part of GMS in, in the Mississippi camp. I forget what his name is, but uh, just like when I saw him pop up, I was like, man, hold on. he He's teaching something or going against the doctrine or he's going against the apostles or whatever the case may be. And, you know, he was one of the first people that I actually listened to when I came into the truth. And he'd been a part of the truth for a long time. And then, you know, he got a, a wicked spirit upon him. So I was like, damn, I'm like, that's messed up, you know, then, you know, fast forward. Now you see this guy on the screen. And it's all kind of stories coming out about him, about how, you know, he's been taking advantage of brothers as far as money is concerned. All right. And like I said, I'm not going to speak about anything because I don't know the stories. I don't know anything. You know, I don't, I don't you know, communicate with the brothers down there in, in, in the Carolinas or anything like that. But, you know, I look at all of their videos, you know, I look at all the brothers videos. All right. But like I said, you know, I just got a spice to do this because, you know, you could be a sincere brother or you could be a brother that's in the truth. You could be out there doing the work. You'd be going out to the highways and the byways. You could be uploading the videos. All right. And a lot of people can look at you as being sincere and as being, you know, real in this truth. But then out of nowhere, you can be the next person on the headlines. You could be the next person that the elders, the apostles or different brothers rebuke because the most High put a wicked spirit upon you. And once again, that's why I entitled this video, You Just Never Know. You never know what type of spirit the Most High is going to give you because none of us know if we're going to be part of the elect or not. And this is why it's very important for us to humble ourselves and do what's right and necessary every single day, man. These scriptures are, are supposed to motivate us to stay within the right spirit. Because like I said, man, any one of us, can you know pretty much fall out man any one of us can get a have a wicked spirit out of nowhere and then next thing you know people be like damn man like i like that brother like what happened to him so forth and so on and that's why i said about him you know because uh i actually ordered a garment from him and i think that's one of the things that came out but like i said i, I you know they didn't speak about uh the the situation so i'm not gonna speak about it either especially because i don't know but you know uh I have uh, ordered garments from him and everything, and it, it was at a point where you know he he did take a while to give me the garment, but he did he did give me the garment though, and then he apologized and everything, and then he moved forward, and then next thing I know, I was seeing him leave comments on live streams, you know, see him go out to the highways and the byways, and then out of nowhere, I wake up in the morning, I look at my notifications and go to youtube and his face is everywhere i'm like damn what what happened with this brother you know and you know it's just certain things that just not sitting right 
just for the simple fact that I looked at his video as far as what he had to say on the situation and everything and he's saying that he doesn't know where all of this is coming from or whatever but we already know whenever brothers make videos and you know re rebuke videos on other brothers they have evidence hardcore evidence on things that's going on so i'm just like man you know i'm leaning toward the brothers on this man like i said i don't know what's going on or anything like that but all i know is I just don't want a wicked spirit to come upon me. And I don't want a wicked spirit to come upon anybody that's in this truth, man. Because this is all we got. This is all we have, man. So, be, you know, I don't want to keep talking. You know, like they say, let the scriptures speak. So we're going to start off with Psalms chapter 51, verse 1. And it says, as you can see right here, it says, A contrite sinner's prayer for pardon. It says, To the chief musician, the Psalm of David, when Nathan the prophet came unto him, after he had gone into Bathsheba, have mercy upon me, O power, according to the loving thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. And that's what we ask for every day. Because that's what this whole thing is about. Alright, this whole thing is about praying for forgiveness. Because we already know that the most high, yeah, how about Shimmy How Shy, is getting ready to bring great judgment upon the earth. Verse 3, it says, For I acknowledge my transgressions. And my sin is ever before me. That's right. We confess what we do every single day. Against thee, thee only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean wash me and i shall be whiter than snow make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice hide thy face from my sins and blot out all mine iniquities create in me a clean heart O power and renew a right spirit within me that's what we want daily and continually we don't want you know a spirit where we we feel like we getting weak or we, we feel like you know we slipping or we just going back and forth. No, we want a clean and upright heart. We want to make sure that we're in the right spirits of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. It says, cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. This is, and this is what we pray for every day. We don't want the Most High to take the Holy Spirit from us because once that happens, you're back in the world, man. And what the scriptures say? The scriptures say, once you come into the truth and then you go back into the world, the Holy Spirit is away from you. And then the next thing you know, uh, seven more demons are able to get upon you easily. Because the scriptures tell you that your uh, spirit is like a desert looking for water. So you over here looking for the fountains and living waters. You looking for answers. You looking for hope. But you lost that hope because you didn't have the Holy Spirit upon you anymore, man. Now the demons that's out there are able to come upon you easily. And then the next thing you know, like the scriptures say, seven more demons came upon you. You're going to be more wicked than what you were when you were in the world the first time. And that's going to make it damn near impossible for you to even try to get back in the truth, man. That's why the scriptures tell you that as soon as you leave the truth, you done, man. You done. But of course, you know, just like we learned from our apostles, you know, there's some exceptions to the rules. The Most High can bring you back into this truth if you are part of the elect. All right, he can't bring you back, but that's up to the most high. And that's one scary thing you don't want to think about, man. You don't want to play that game. You don't want to be like, well, the most high is merciful, so I'm going to go ahead and, you know, take a chance. You don't even you don't even want to say no shit like that, man. You know, you just want to go ahead and stay two feet in at all times. All right. So at the end of the day, this is what we pray for. We don't want the Holy Spirit to be taken away from us, man. All right. Let's get Matthew chapter 18. We're going to get Matthew 18, start at verse 1. It says, At the same time came the disciples unto Yahweh Shai, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And Yahweh Shai called a little child unto him, and set him in the midst of them, and said, Verily I say unto you, Except ye be converted and become as little children, you shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. 
this is a type of spirit you should have upon you even if you were in this truth for multi for many years man it don't matter how long you was in this truth you always supposed to have that mindset so to speak as a child now i'm not saying think as a child because like the scriptures say once i was a, when i was a child i spake as a child but once i became you know a man i did things as a man so that's what you're supposed to do but this is a uh, scripture that lets you know that you know when a child comes into this world he's looking for guidance he's looking for the right way to live he's looking for the correct self so then that way he can grow up and be the best that he can possibly be and that's what we that's the type of spirit that we have upon us man that's why it says humble yourself as a little child because a child is gonna ultimately sit down and just listen and just look for it and just you know hold his hand out and just look for the adult to guide him, man and that's what we do through the spirit with yahweh by shem yahweh shot you know we stretch our, our hand to the lord so the lord can you know stretch out his grab us through the spirit and lead us and uh, lead us in the right way man all right so you got to be humble as a little child and if you do that like i said you you can be the greatest in the kingdom of heaven you could be great man you, which means you could be part of the elect all right you could be part of the elect and you can finally live the life on the first go around live that life on the first go around all right and it says and whoso shall receive one such little child in my name receiveth me but whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea all right so anybody that comes against the doctrine anybody that comes against the elders the apostles or brothers that's in the right spirit you know it says it's better for him that a millstone were hanging about his neck and that he will drown in the depth of the sea just for the simple fact that man the judgment that the most high is getting ready to bring upon the majority of these people now is going to be way worse than what he just described right here man because you got to remember like apostle Tahar said i remember him saying a long a while a long time i ain't gonna say a long time ago it's probably like two years ago that's still a long <laughs> still a long time but still i remember him saying in the video he was like, man, the most high is going to allow the angels on the left hand side to just let loose because this is going to be the last time that major and mass death is going to be upon the earth. It's going to be the last time. Now, don't get me wrong. You know, when you get in the, in the kingdom, yeah, the heathen nations, they're going to be put to death a lot of times because they got to serve slavery. They're going to be in captivity. You know, and the scriptures say they're going to receive double. They put us to death all kind of times when we were in captivity all the way until this day. So, yeah, they're going to be put to death. But the thing is, the Most High is not going to do something extreme like he did the first time with, with the uh, with the flood and the second time, which he's getting ready to do with the fire. All right. He's not going to, you know, uh, uh, do something major like that anymore because his people are going to be there and we're going to have the law written in our inward parts and we're going to live perfectly. So the Most High is not going to have a reason to go to the extreme anymore because the reason why he does that is because of us. Or why he did that, I should say, and what he's getting ready to do. It's because of us, man. He don't care about the heathen nations. He bring his great judgment because we're as the sand of the sea. <laughs> we everywhere. So, yeah, he got to do something extreme to get rid of the majority of our wicked people. And this is why it's very important that you watch what you say, watch what you do when it comes to this ministry, man. And when it comes to brothers. When it comes to brothers, when it comes to the elders, the apostles, whoever, and yourself. You got to be very, very careful, man. Very careful. Think twice about everything at all times, man. Let's get 1 Corinthians. We're going to get 1 Corinthians. Um, hold on. One second. 1 Corinthians 13. Let's start at verse 1. It says, now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I will not have you ignorant. You know that you were Gentiles, carried away into these dumb idols, even as you were led. Wherefore, I give to you to understand that no, oh, hold on, hold on, Salakia. Yeah. <laughs> it said, that's verse, uh, that's chapter 13, uh, 12. This is what I was trying to get right here. All right, this is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 1. It says, the excellence of love. It says, though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, and have not charity i am become a sounding brass and a tinkling cymbal and though i have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries 
and all knowledge and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have and have not charity I am nothing read that again man and though I have the gift of prophecy do we have that yes we do because we understand the prophecies that happen and that is to come and it says to understand all mysteries we do understand the mysteries that's written in Amos right the uh the uh the secrets are revealed to his service the prophets and it says to understand all mysteries and all knowledge and though i have all faith we do have faith so that i could remove mountains and have not charity i am nothing he said he's nothing man even though he got these great gifts these gifts from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, able to break down the scriptures, able to go out there and teach, able to understand what the Most High is all about, he still humbled himself as a little child and said, I am nothing. And like I said, when you stay in that spirit, you will continue to do the right thing, man. You will think twice about what you do amongst the brotherhood, man. You'll think twice about yourself, man. And it says, and though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, and have not charity and profited me nothing all right we are nothing man like the scriptures say man the most i could raise up a stone he said he could raise up a stone to be a prophet man he could raise up anybody to be a prophet he could raise up anybody to raise to be a prophet and, and take your spot man and take your spot and that's something that like i said as you do not want man you do not want it and that's why I said you just never know. You don't know what type of spirit you're going to have within the next week, within the next month, within the next year. You don't know. You're in the right spirit right now, but you don't know what situation you're going to come across to the point where you may actually fall out. And this is why we do what? We pray every single day, man. Pray every single day. And we make sure we take this seriously. Let's get one last scripture to close it out. We're going to get to Rock chapter 1. And go to verse 26. And it says, If thou desire wisdom, keep the commandments, and the Lord shall give her unto thee. For the fear of the Lord is wisdom and instruction, and faith and meekness are his delight. Distrust not the fear of the Lord when thou art poor, and come down unto him with a double heart. All right? Don't come into the Lord with a double heart. Either you're going to be in this truth or you ain't, man. Because the Most High is going to have you exposed regardless of what you know of how you moving around in the earth or whatever all right you can't come into this truth with second guesses man you can't come into this truth with one foot in the truth and one foot in the world because ultimately you can't do that anyway if you're not all the way in this truth that means you in the world man it says be not a hypocrite in the sight of men and take good heed what thou speakest exalt not thyself lest thou let thou fall that's right Apostle Gabar literally just said that in uh in uh camp one in their camp like two weeks ago. He said there ain't no need to brag or boast about the wisdom and knowledge that you have because this was a gift from the most high anyway. You don't brag about something that was given to you. <laughs> All right. You know, there's a reason why certain people may brag or boast when they actually work for something. <laughs> You know, like 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 LL Cool J or Michael Jordan. You know, when they were in their prime, you know, they was like, man, look, ain't nobody touching me, man. I've been doing this for a long time. Look at the rewards I got. Look at the championship rings I have, man. He's like, man, I'm the best. You know, you may brag a boast like that, but even in situations like that, you don't want to brag a boast, man. You always want to remain humble and just be thankful for who you are and who you're and who you're blessed to be. So that's why it says, exalt not thyself, lest thou fall. All right, don't be out here bigging yourself up because at any moment, what can happen? Most I can bring you down, man. And it says, and bring this honor upon thy soul. And so the most I discover thy secrets and cast thee down in the midst of the congregation because thou camest not in truth to the fear of the Lord, but thy heart is full of deceit, man. And what's the main thing we always say? The fear of the Lord, the fear of the Lord, the fear of the Lord. We keep saying it over and over and over and over again. You're supposed to be afraid of the power that's out here, man. Every time you even think about doing something wrong, you're supposed to be like, the most I got the angels around me right now in this room watching me, man. Watching me. And they give a report on everything that I'm doing at every second of the day. You're supposed to be like, nope, nope, nope. Don't even try. Don't even try, man. All right? So like I said, 
you know i just I, I don't know what this situation is about or whatever you know like i said i don't have all of the details or anything and that's cool but i did like i said i listened to this video uh, i listened to all the elders videos about this and you know from what's been said you know it, it's messed up you know it's messed up and like i said when you see you know faces come out like this and you know it's brothers that you know earn a decent amount of you know quote unquote respect you know it's just it's just messed up to see man you know you don't want to see any brother fall out you know we want to see anybody that's in the truth you know make it because we know like i said what's getting ready to happen we don't want anybody that's in this truth to go through the judgment that the most high is getting ready to bring but man you know we understand that somebody gotta play the roles man and not saying that you know he's a, a two-third or anything like that because hey the the word is still being spoken so he has time to repent from whatever he did but at the same time man like i said earlier you know playing that game with the most high is not you know <laughs> it's not where it's at man it's not where it's at you just need to go ahead and try your best every single day all right so i'm gonna end it with that i ain't, I'm, I'm not gonna say too much more like i said because i don't know the situation but at the same time hey like i said you just never know what type of spirit the most high may put upon you so be thankful for the holy spirit that he has given you move forward and repent daily man so i hope this is edifying so with that i'm gonna say call halayim yahweh bahasham yahweh shai bahasham rakakwadash double honor to the apostles and the great millstones i learned this truth from honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word through the four corners of the earth Within truth and sincerity, and shalom to the aqua that's listening and learning. And Yahweh Ratazah, I'll be back with another lesson. Keep pushing, Yasharala, keep pushing. We almost out of here. Shalom.